welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is emily and i post lifestyle videos homemaking videos diy videos and minimalist videos so if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the little bell notification next to it so that you can be a part of my youtube family i also hope that everybody had a great christmas holiday um i know we did and that's part of the reason that i have been absent on here is just that there has been so much going on and we've been so busy with the holiday and then so busy with work that i have just not had time to film and i apologize for that but i've just not had time to film so today i thought we would just do a vlog style video and i'll talk to you guys and just update y'all on what's going on and what is to come in the next coming months with um my youtube channel and my instagram account which by the way if you don't follow me on instagram you definitely should i'll leave the link always in the description box down below to all my social media handles <coughs> And as you can tell, I have had, I have lost my voice. I lost my voice over Christmas and now I'm trying to slowly get it back, but I've still got like all this creepy stuff. So if I clear my throat a million times in this video, you know why. But anyways, so today there's nothing terribly exciting going on today. Um, I am going to lunch with my mom and some friends. Um, we're meeting up to exchange gifts for the holidays because we didn't see them over the holiday um and then i think i'm just gonna do like some cleaning some organizing i may film another video today because i wanted to do a video on like um home decor like stuff that you already have ways to decorate on a budget with stuff that you already have so i'm planning on maybe filming that video today if not today then i'll probably film it um tuesday because i'm actually off for the new year but that's pretty much what today's going to hold. My husband is sleeping right now because he got home a few hours ago from work. So it should be a good day. And I'm going to take you guys with me and just fill you in on some stuff that's going on. And we shall see where this vlog takes us. Lucy, what are you doing? Lucy, come here. I would let her say hi to you guys if she'd be still for two seconds. Come here. Never mind. She is so loud. Lucy, can you stop? Can you stop? I'm going to show you guys what she's doing. Lucy, hey, what are you doing? Why won't you say hello? She's like, nope. Also, on another topic, I took the Christmas tray down, which went over here, and so I have sort of re not rearranged, but I'm trying to figure out the placement of the living room now. I moved this plant in here because I felt like it would get better light if it was in here, and I like the way it looks here as well. Never mind Lucy's bed there. She likes to sit beside the heat. So I put her bed there in hopes that she'll lay in it, and she never does. But anyways, I like the way this plant looks right here, and I think it'll get a lot more sunlight. And as you can see, it's like doing so well, and I'm so happy about that. But I took the tree down, and originally I had a chair that I had right here. But I don't know, I kind of really like the way it looks empty. I'm just not sure. You guys let me know down below what you think about the room without anything here. Or tell me what I should put here. I thought about putting a big art piece and then maybe a little stool here with something on it. I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. But I want to get one of our anniversary pictures from last year framed in a big frame and put it here. But I like the emptiness right there as it is. And I kept the table pretty simple. Right now my Bible and my coffee's on there. But I've got just the basket with a candle in it and a coaster just to try to keep it really simple. And as you can see, Lucy has a mess down here. Girl. What am I going to do with you? And then over here, I don't know if the light's going to cooperate, but I hung up our inn that we had. Let's see if I can get it better. Our inn, our big wooden inn, I put it there. So I like the way it looks right now. 
I don't know how I'm going to change it, but I really like the way it looks right now. How many other people have been eating chocolate for breakfast ever since Christmas? I am obsessed with this dark chocolate sea salt from Ghirardelli. Oh my gosh. And we got so many for Christmas and so I'm just like getting fatter and fatter off of chocolate every morning. Balanced breakfast here. I swear having a dog is like having a child. Look at this. I go away for just a few minutes and she has disemboweled her buffalo. There's stuffing all over the floor. Lucy, why? Why? Why can't you be by yourself for just a few minutes without tearing everything apart? What do you have to say for yourself? Nothing. Nothing whatsoever. I'm in my junkie room right now. So I'm gonna take this time, I got a few minutes before my mom gets here. I'm gonna put up some laundry because this room is a disaster. And I have a pile of laundry that I've been working on for, I don't even know how long. So I'm gonna try to get some of these hung up before she gets here. and it is like almost four o'clock so you see we had a lot to talk about but I did not vlog at lunch because first of all I didn't want to force people to be in front of the camera if they didn't want to be and then also because when I'm with people I would really like to be present um I'm, I don't mind vlogging sometimes when I'm with people but I do want to be present and you know I don't want to be one of these people that's just scrolling on their phone or messing with their camera so I didn't want to be present so I left the camera at home but I'm getting ready to take Doodle out because she is having anxiety again and you can probably hear her whining in the background. You ready to go out? You ready to go out, pumpkin? Okay, let's go.
ignore the fact that I look a little bit rough. But we just got back from grocery shopping and I'm going to give y'all a little haul of what I got because I'm having a new system for grocery shopping this year, trying to save money and budget better. So I'm going to show y'all my grocery haul and then I will show y'all later my system that I've set up for um, meal planning and grocery shopping. Okay, so first off, we have a pack of strawberries here that I will wash and cut up so that we have fruit to eat throughout the week. Also, we have some Granny Smith apples, which I'll probably be the only one eating these because um, <clears throat> Brennan doesn't really care for Granny Smith apples. Um, we have some baby carrots for snacking and also for some soup recipes. Um, these and the canned soup are for, for like quick grabs for lunches. I know they're not the healthiest thing, but they do save you money when you don't want to get lunch out. Um, so that these are mainly for my husband because I don't really like these, but I will eat the soups. Uh, I've got beans for chili beans that I'm going to make this week. I've got Rotel tomatoes. Here I've got some ricotta cheese for some stuffed shells. Back here I have some barbecue sauce because we're going to be having barbecue sometime this week. Um, this is a sauce that my husband wanted to try. It's an Asian sweet chili sauce. All this is from Walmart, by the way, but this is a Walmart brand sauce. We have granola bars back there. Brownies are for church tomorrow. And then we have pizza stuff for if I need to make a quick meal. Um, I've got two pizza dough packs, some pepperonis, and some pizza sauce. And then we've got a big bag of cheese because we go through a lot of cheese in this house. So I got a big bag of that. Then I got some shells for my stuffed shell recipe. And then we just got a gallon of milk and back here. So we got some hazelnut coffee creamer. And then I'm gonna try to start buying meat sort of in bulk um, so I don't have to buy it every week because all the meals that I've got they either take ground beef or chicken or they're meatless. So I got bacon for breakfast one night. I got a big bag of chicken tenders and then I've got three packs of hamburger meat. And all of this stuff um, only ended up costing me about $85. So I think I did pretty good. Okay, so here's my cookbook. So between my cookbook and Pinterest, I have picked out 10 recipes, <coughs> which I've put here. Um, so I have listed all the recipes and the basic ingredients for the recipes and I'm going to alternate them uh, week by week. Alternate, like change them around week by week because they're pretty simple and easy to make and the ingredients are pretty basic. So here I've got stuff I can buy in bulk and then the stuff I need to buy weekly. And then on this side is my grocery list and this is pre-planned because here, this right here is my financial planner this year. So I have written out, if I can get a hold of this, I have written out each day what I'm making for supper for each day. I've got it written down with the date. And I've done this for two weeks. So I've got it for two weeks. And so I did my grocery list for two weeks. So this was the first week. The second week, you notice there's less stuff that I have to buy, but that's because I bought most of my meat in bulk. So I won't need meat this week, which will make this grocery list cheaper. Um, but I notice that when I stick to a list and a meal plan, I save so much more money at the grocery store. Okay guys, so that's pretty much been today. Um, kind of a boring vlog, but I enjoy vlogs, so I hope, hope that the rest of you that are watching this video enjoy them as well. Um, I'm probably just going to get some work done and chill out and then take a shower and then go to bed. So I'm not going to vlog the rest of today, but I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.